What is up you guys? Welcome back to another one. If you are new to the channel, I am Gold Pony. This is Gold Pony Crypto. And so this video, you can probably tell by the title, this is going to be a VVS Finance tutorial because VVS is the number one DEX on Chrono's chain right now. And I've been using them for quite a while since they first come out, actually, to be honest. And I use them every single day because of VVS Gachi. And we'll get more into that. But this video, I wanted to more cover a lot of what the DEX actually is and how to go about using it because they did just release version three or v3 their flawless liquidity so i'm going to touch on that a little bit i'm going to show you guys how to do a swap i'm going to show you guys how to lock your vvs in the vaults to earn passive income i'm going to go over their minor mall nft collection and they actually reached out to me on twitter i think it was last week and uh asked if i would mind doing a quick tutorial on uh their v3 uh their flawless liquidity that just came out and they did say they would give me a small remuneration for my time and effort so i'm not sure what that is but for that reason i'm going to go ahead and call this a sponsored video don't want to under percent know what that means of course but having said that before we get started nothing in this video should be considered financial advice this is simply for educational and entertainment purposes so let's go ahead and get started and let's get started by me telling you guys how you can go ahead and get started by using vvs finance so you can either access it through the dap on your phone or you can access it through a desktop as well it's vvs.finance that is their website, it's not gonna be anything else, so just know that right off the bat. And of course, you're gonna need a wallet as well. Crypto.com DeFi wallet is what I use. You can use MetaMask, that's the other popular one for the most part, but you can also use a BitGet wallet and actually the Brave wallet as well, in case you were curious about that. But all right, let me go ahead and get set up real quick. I'm actually just gonna get a screen recorder on my phone here so I can walk you guys through everything. And uh, here we go. So first thing you're gonna wanna do is go to the little browser tab at the very bottom, that's what I do, and then I go to the Chronos tab because VVS Finance is always listed on the very top. So just go and go ahead and hit that there and you can see the website at the very top. It does say VVS.finance. So my wallet automatically connects there so I am ready to go. The very top portion of the uh, the VVS Finance page here is going to be their kind of updates and their promo. So it says beta launch VVS flawless liquidity V3. That's what I'm going to be covering in this video. There's also VVS Gachi that I X'd out because I literally play that every single day. And uh, that's just basically what uh, their latest and greatest is more or less. And then it gives you some uh, of your own statistics if you scroll down a little bit. So anyways, at the tabs at the bottom, there's going to be that trade icon. If you go to that, you can see the swap feature. That's uh, like your basic swap. You can swap Crow to VVS. You can swap USDC to Tonic or any of the other uh, tokens that they actually have on their platform. Then there's going to be the earn tab. That's where you're going to access the farms and also the mines or the staking within their vault. And it's a pretty cool boost calculator too so that's if you have their minor mole nfts or if you have locked some vvs tokens in their vaults that's also going to boost a little bit but then there's going to be the dashboard tab again that's going to give you your previous statistics if you were interested in that and then there is that igo tab there is one coming up very soon it's showing the fulcrum one that already happens but there is one kaching kaching is coming up very soon so uh, i don't think all the information has been posted online yet but just expect that one to be coming soon but anyways let's now go ahead and touch on those v3 farms here i'm just going to go back to the main screen real quick all right so we're gonna hit explore now and so if you currently have any farms in the v2 um, it's basically going to just walk you through it to go ahead and transfer them to the v3 so i'm just going to hit next steps so this next section if you don't have any it's going to give you the option at the very bottom to go ahead and add liquidity and that looks like that is a definite new setup that is a new interface a new ui i guess you could say because i do not remember seeing that before especially the feet here that is uh 100 new i guess you could change that up a little bit best for exotic pairs i like that they added that because they do have some uh, small cap tokens on their decks here so that is good that they added that that's pretty cool so anyways i do like that and uh looks like you could set a price range down here as well next let me go ahead and show you guys how to swap real quick we're going to go ahead and hit trade we're going to go to swap and so the rest of this i'm actually going to do all these things for you so i'm going to walk you through this so here's how to go ahead and do a swap we're going to pull up minted and i'm going to swap that into let's swap it into vvs and i like how they put uh common bases at the very top so that's uh, that's pretty convenient. So I don't have to scroll through all the uh, tons of tokens that they have on this thing. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and hit max. I'm gonna swap all of my minted into VVS. I'm gonna enable, and there's probably gonna be a small fee. Yep, very small fee, 0.25. It's like nothing. What's that, a cent or two maybe? All right, so it's enabled. Now you go ahead and hit swap, confirm swap. It's probably gonna be another small little fee, and we're done. And now you just gotta give it like, uh, I don't know, probably like, 
20 seconds or so, and then uh, the Minta token is magically going to turn into VVS. So now that we have our VVS, let me go ahead and show you guys how to go ahead and stake in their vault. So now I'm going to hit the Earn tab. I'm going to go to XVVS. So in order to stake in their vault, what you first have to do is convert your VVS to XVVS, and you're gonna do that through the stake section there. So what I'm going to do here is go ahead and hit stake, and I'm gonna hit max, confirm, confirm, and the fee is one crow. And again, give it like 20 seconds and then you'll be set here. All right, so now that we have staked our VVS, we can now go to the vault and I can deposit XVVS because that is now available. I'm gonna do the seven day term just to show you guys here. I'm gonna hit max and then I'm gonna hit deposit in vault, confirm and confirm again. And it's gonna give you the lock end date as well, which apparently is October 5th, 2023. So now if you go to earnings, it's gonna show you what you have in there. It's gonna show the XVVS state and it's gonna show your average earnings APR as well. So that is pretty cool to see that in there. But now let me go ahead and cover VVS got you real quick. And this part isn't gonna be an in-depth uh, kind of tutorial. I'm actually, I'll probably make another video on that in the future on how to go about uh, playing VVS got you. And also the whole VVS minor mole NFT because they have staking uh, you can earn Corgi AI. There's so much utility for the minor moles, I'm telling you guys. But anyways, hit the three little dots in the bottom right-hand corner. I'm going to then hit VVS Gachi. So I know this next part looks bad. I only have one minor mole in there, and uh, he's doing absolutely horrible because I literally just picked him up. So his health is absolutely horrendous right now. The other five minor moles I have, they're all being staked, and their health is all 100 right now. So why do you want their health to 100? I'm glad you asked. The reason is every now and then VVS will do competitions whereas like the last one that they had for an entire month every weekday they were giving away a VVS minor mole which is worth roughly a little over 2,000 crow right now so every single weekday that's probably 20 to 25 minor moles that they gave out that particular month and there's going to be more things coming in the future with that but for now that is what they did so far so that is pretty darn cool so anyways if you go to team at the very bottom left hand corner there it's going to show you that team is hungry you're going to go ahead and feed them Usually I always go with the fries because the broccoli, the uh, the chances, if you, it's 5% chance that that minor mole is going to accept that. So I'm, it's not even worth the risk. I'm just going to do the fries. I'm going to hit continue. Yeah, that's that. And then you can do quest. And this is my favorite part. I think it's called a mole run. So if you go to quest, you can go to challenges and mole dash, my bad. And uh, let me just show you guys how to play that real quick. So essentially you just jump and duck. So it's kind of like a Super Nintendo kind of... Uh, Super Mario kind of thing, or maybe the original Nintendo, but you jump over the spikes, you duck under the other things and the snakes, and you basically try to get to 30 seconds because that improves your experience points for that particular minor mole. That's basically how that works. All right, even with that being so glitchy because I'm recording my screen right now, I still got 47 seconds. My best score, it says it right there, is 55 seconds, which I think is pretty darn good. But anyways, that's how you play the mole run or the mole dash. I think that is such a fun game. I uh, I play that every day. That's pretty darn fun. But anyways, that's your quick VVS finance tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comment section below. But that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on X if you wanted to see different cryptocurrency updates. Be sure to hit the subscribe to the bell notification button if you're into crypto.com, Crow, and Kronos, because that is what we do here on this channel. After all, do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold. Mm -hmm.